Hey everyone, I'm Angie. I'm Rhonda. And we are Adventures in Nomadness. We had an awesome time at the Escape Rally in Osoyoos, Canada, and such a great time we wanted to share with you all the really cool stuff we saw. We saw tons of mods and really cool interiors on 17s, 19s, 21s, 5.0s, and this is our chance to share that with you. Uh, one of the great things that happens at the escape rally is on Saturdays they have about six hours dedicated to allowing <coughs> people to walk through other people's escapes and if you're interested in doing that what they do is put out a balloon and there are two hour segments so what we did when we weren't reviewing ours for two hours is take a look at what other people had so this is what we captured on film there were a whole lot of other mods that we weren't able to capture so this is a 19 with a U-shaped dinette instead of the fixed bed. And then it has the pedestal. And this gives you the feel for of a lot more space. And honestly, with this configuration, it feels as big as our 21. It's pretty it, cool. It does. This is awesome. And thank you very much yes, for letting thank us. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> well, how about things that uh, I've done and, and the previous owner has done okay. because they did a lot. Yeah, so this is a really, really beautiful interior in here and I just yeah, really well wanted to be able to the, share yeah, this. Nancy, Nancy did a lot of that. You know, I like pictures of my family and things like that. So, so what, what all have you done? Here? And well, let's see. We, we did install these under the bed. <laughs> That is, is really cool. It's because it's so hard to get under right. there anyway. And then if you put your camera in there, you okay. can see how we. Oh yeah! Wow! It's all yeah! Our ball bearings. Okay. That is super cool. And it makes it a lot easier. And then you did that over here. We too. did that over oh. here with um, another one, and this has shoes on it. Wow. You know how you can never find yes. a place to put your shoes. <laughs> yeah, we have a 21, and we definitely struggle with that. Yeah. But it didn't cost much because, you know, it's just a piece of wood with a handle yeah. on it, basically. And instead of buying expensive slides, we bought those ball bearings. And we didn't think of it. A friend of ours well, I know that's came up it, with the right? idea. Most of the ideas are, are, are stuff borrowed. that we uh, got from other people, like on the forum. You should see the bathroom because it's oh, very yes. cute. And this oh is my gosh, this bathroom's amazing. <laughs> Oh no, you can do it. There'd be a chandelier and you're over the toilet. Huh? Yeah, okay, so the chandelier is yeah. pretty cool. And, and then the little curtain on the and side. And you've got these yeah, that are really nice. Those are from nice. IKEA, they're, they're Studvik style bars. Okay, well, this bathroom is classier than ours. And then we put hooks across the center there so you could hook your towel or your shower curtain that way and you only have to clean half the bathroom. Oh, right. Instead of cleaning okay. the whole thing, That's, you know, when you're after you're done showering. That's smart. And put, um, we are here versus uh -huh. so we have a cabinet in the back yeah, and that gets covered up by the shower curtain right. with the cubby yep. yours look slightly nicer than ours <laughs> <laughs> and uh let's see what else is new and different here well we use a little spice rack yeah there. this this we use for drying towels mm -hmm. mostly while we're traveling okay. because the bathroom, they never get dry. Because yeah, no. so, yeah. so, so you just it. leave this up and we put Velcro on it sure. so it doesn't pop off right. while we're traveling. This is something everyone Someone should know it, about. But your dad I don't know if you do or not. Do you know about yeah. museum putty? Yeah, he's from Cigarettes. Yeah. He grew up in a put farm that on. So you don't have to put your knickknacks out. You can just leave them out while you're traveling. Mm -hmm. He's been two yeah. or three years there and he hasn't okay. moved. It's like, it's almost like Play-Doh. <laughs> no. Oh, you lost your knee, it's better. <laughs> you just take a tiny little bit and you make it nice and supple. You I'm warm it up a little. I know. <laughs> and then you just take a little bit. Music. Like if I was going to do this dish, I put one here. Well, it won't stick to the metal very good, but let's pretend it does. Yeah, yeah, and you put several on. You set it down and then you give it about a quarter turn. And the quarter turn is what makes it stay. It will not come off. I mean, okay. 
I mean, wow. the cushions will bounce off before that little dude will move. <laughs> okay. And then it's not hard to get off. No, I can just twist him and it comes back off. And it, and it doesn't, you can put it on stuff that like a paper finish. Mm -hmm. Oh, so like all your things here are hung by that? No, no, those are all hung by uh, oh, command yeah. strips. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah those Museum Putty, that? Yeah, where did you is, get that from? You can get it on Amazon. Okay. Amazon, of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> There's other places too, but that's uh, the easiest. Anyway, Peggy has right very nicely board, opened up her uh, 17 for us to look at, and it's pretty awesome. Uh, that backsplash! Yeah. This is just a pill and stick stuff, and it really makes a huge difference. It's very bright. Mm -hmm. yeah. If it works, leave it. Go low. Yeah. yeah. So, like, when did you guys get yours? March. March. Okay. Hey, Sue has let us into her 19 foot, and it's awesome. <laughs> and uh, they've built this really great charging station and shelf that's just basically hung off the uh, the frame there, right? And yeah. then they've got a stick here that fits in there to keep it stable when they travel, and uh, a couple of lights. So they actually have travel st uh, and charging. And the need to tap it, it goes off. Oh yeah, yeah see? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> yeah. That's cool, man. <laughs> this is such a great use. Yeah, space they got there. Yeah. Charging station here Hi. and the wires are all uh -huh. hidden. That's awesome. That is awesome. Well, I have that base. Well, really? Yeah. This, yeah. yeah. Oh, and more shelves back here, too. Oh, yeah. He yeah. put me on the shelf. Wow. And more charging yeah. station. We can lie wow. in bed. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> and like she said, more charging stations up there. So how, how do you <laughs> take uh, more hooks? Comes out, there's three of this. I have three wow. boxes on each side. So it's my pantry. That is pretty phenomenal. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I love wow. that. Yeah. I, I would love that too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we had, he does a lot of nice stuff and you can uh, put <laughs> this to make sure it doesn't pop out while uh -huh. we travel. Oh, yeah, that That's is kind nice. Of nice. Because it that happened nice. once before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, we have yeah, yeah. things that, yeah, yeah so that's, that's actually that really is. great. Yeah. Oh look, so I like that. Too. Yeah, that's the... Oh, that is a good idea. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's right just a little make. cut out piece yeah. of wood that slides yeah. over. That right. is awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's those little things that make such a big difference. Yeah, it's, a, yeah. Yeah. it's got those on all of those. Yeah. These make it really easy to for travel. Yeah. Right. You know, and they uh, sock drawer organizers. Right. Not just for socks and underwear. Yep. Look at those colors up there. So, yeah, we'll go through them. There's green, <laughs> there's blue, there's Paula's favorite aqua. Oh, I like that. Wow. We might yeah. have to upgrade our lighting system. <laughs> I know. We and just have a single magenta. color white. <laughs> you can even have white. <laughs> yeah. Not as much fun they, as it. They can flash. They can. Yeah, they can. Uh, it's party time. You can set them up like this. Ooh, you can set them up for ooh, slow fade. Ooh. You know. So what is this system that you have? It's um, Sylvania Mafic. And okay. I gotta talk about my latest favorite mod that Paula did. What Show is it? Paula did. Holders. Oh, oh, look. So I sewed the magnets right in. Oh, wow. Oh, you sewed <laughs> the magnets right in. See yeah. the quilt back here? She made this quilt. That's for right. This is the but quilt you were talking about. Let's turn on the light here. Hi, puppy. Come here. The dog. Well, of course, if we change quilts, we have to change dogs. Oh, no. <laughs> she back. Who would want to do that? <laughs> yeah. okay. Paula, give we'll us the tour. Sure. You are on camera. This is your chance yeah. to be a so TV star. Your chance to I shine. have to do a quilt. I quilt while I'm camping, and this is their hexagons. And you, Ooh. you do paper piecing. I've never done this, but see, you sew them together like oh. this. And, and you're all hand sewing them. And they're right. all hand. And I will, I will machine quilt this. I'll, I will hand quilt it. I'll just run it over, you know, but isn't it cool? Yeah, it is cool. That's what it's going to be. And then you, she takes the paper out. Yeah, you pull that paper out. Okay. And the paper keeps so it so it doesn't uh, yeah. bunch when we yeah, show yeah. it. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You have really nice interior in here. So oh. what, do you know what that color is? Mulberry. 
something Arnie ordered. <laughs> no, I, mulberry. We also mulberry. keep a journal of <laughs> everywhere we go. Okay, that's a good idea. We haven't quite gotten there yet. And yeah. when we forget I things, I write it in red uh -huh. on the side, and then I, I forget. It. It's something mulberry. Soothing. Soothing mulberry Soothing is the name mulberry. of the fabric. In Colorado, slate is the name of the formica. Um, and we have the uh, Springfield pedestal. Which oh, we this. Have that. Yes, we love we that love too. That. Look at those. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> There's one there, one above. Ooh, nice. Where did you get these? Uh, from the container store. Okay. And then if you open the there. oven and um, pull out the pans on the top shelf there. Yeah. Just all the whole pan set there. These were um, pans that I found at a Kickstarter thing. Now, now they're in business full time. But they, this was a, some uh, hmm. chefs who decided they didn't like any of the pans they had, uh -huh. and so they designed these pans um, with um, Swiss uh, diamond-coated non-stick surface. Wow. So they're really super tough, and they all nest. The handles come off, the pots and pans inside this cupboard here. This one? Yep. Down on the bottom shelf. The pots all have, uh, they all nest inside of each other. And What's the lids. Oh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> the, the lids. Um, the lids nest and they nest on each other. The okay, lids nest so that's pretty and, nice. And the, the, the lids have built in drain holes. Mm -hmm. And a spoon rest on top. Oh, geez, that's nice. Yeah, and what's nice about these removable handles mm -hmm. is you can well, space. stick it. Not, what, not only does it save space, but you can, like, if you want to make a, a frittata or something, you can yeah. stick it in the oven, yeah. take the handle off. Right. Right. <laughs> it's handy if you have an oven. Hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty. That's pretty slick. Yeah, I like that. Like just to give us something to grab onto, mm -hmm. and we use those all the time. So does it come with handles at all? No. no. And so um, I, you know, fastened them into the mm -hmm. framing. On this one, I, I couldn't get to the backside because the fiberglass of the shower is there. So uh -huh. I had to, I used uh, finishing uh, screws okay. with small heads and then filled them in with wood putty. But on this one, I came through from the backside with uh, screws and washers and then um, put little um, yeah, let's see. You can see the there. Uh, cabinet makers have these little. You can di get different color oh, yeah. um, buttons for What's different that? kinds of veneer. And so I've got some maple buttons to cover up the screw heads, the countersunk mm -hmm. screw heads. And then that up top is the interior repeater for the WeBoost. Okay. That's the interior mm -hmm. repeater uh, antenna. This uh, flat one. And this is an Umbra. The products, you know, this, this is where the remotes stay. Yeah. You know, and got the radio option here. Got the radio option, USB ports on either side of the mm -hmm. headboard, and a USB port here for all of our devices. Got new, new on these five O's. It used to be that this was not a full space, and now it is a full space. And so we have our. Um, uh, compost down there and our trash stuff, but <laughs> this goes all the way down to the floor. But you reach up under here, and this whole space below this top step is all open. Oh, uh, really? And so, um, a lot of people have done the mods where they you have to put in a, a little piece of permanent wood here and back here, and then have cut it open and have a step, you know, mm -hmm. have a hinged part right here. But, so this part has to be permanent, and then you make a split, and then have this up. And some people have just put in matching wood here, mm -hmm. and um, um, I don't know yet whether I'll carpet it or not. But as part of my build request, I asked for a spare piece of carpet so I could match the carpet, because you'll destroy the carpet taking oh, yeah. this apart. Yeah. It's all stapled like crazy. <laughs> but what I'm going to do, it, uh, 
so a lot of people they open this up because they want to put tall tables mm -hmm. or chairs down in there um, our stuff fits in there without that so I'm gonna put a floor in the bottom of this That's what I would do. and have yeah. a whole oh, extra right. compartment mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. <laughs> thank you Angela for being in my home <laughs> thank you for inviting thank you us. Dora for inviting us <laughs> in here. <laughs> Dora has been living and Fred have been living five years on the road we thought we were awesome no, by going no, full-time <laughs> in our 21 but those two are even way more awesome because they've been doing it for a long long oh, time let's start, start with this so I love that your is sink. cool I love your scene. So this is a, an upgrade you did then? We just did it this you year. Just did it? Uh, wow. Yeah, this March, actually. We put it in in March. And I thought it was going to take up a lot more room. Yeah. But it doesn't. It, doesn't. it just took up That's about nice. maybe um, a little over half an mm -hmm. inch. Because uh -huh. uh, Fred moved it more this way. Because you do have to cut it, you know, because it's a bigger seat. Yeah. And then, you look, look at this. You're going to love this. We put lights on all of oh, our cabinets. Oh, yeah. 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 You did rope on lights. Or? Yes, it's got this seat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I love the shelves here, and you have one on this side, yeah. Yeah. and that's nice. So you take these down, right, when you travel? Yes. Those are cool, yes. though. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. We that's travel. awesome. Yeah, we take those out. Okay, and can you go this far back? And, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Love your pillows. And then Fred put lights underneath the cornice boards, as you'll see. You know, he put, he put these lights underneath oh, the cornice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you use this as a pantry or no, no. as clothes? It's my. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, look at that lighting in there. Yeah, yeah it's a light. That's and then cool. these pull out. We got these at mm -hmm. Lowe's. Okay. Those are and nice. then Fred, yeah, Fred put those mm -hmm. in. I think I saw his post on that. And, th and uh, <laughs> this is supposed to be for the microwave, but that's my pantry. Right. That's the messy. I, don't, I still haven't figured out how to. So no microwave then? No. <laughs> well, we do a lot of dry camping. Mm -hmm. And I, yeah, so the microwave is yeah, not shoe. No, yeah. we did order this, you know, on, on the cabinet. So it's got a lot right. of So you went with the full length yeah. shelf. And we just went yeah. half length yeah. on ours at the window. Yeah, most of them have the... Mm -hmm. The half it cuts off here. This is extra. You have to pay extra mm -hmm. to get that cabinet. But uh, that's a good use of space, though. Well, we full time and like I, I said, know. you know, I need all the cabinet space I can get. How did you get your stuff up here, Fred? Oh. Oh. Did but he do that like Fred, this. Fred is short. I know. Yes, look I at am. this angle so out. You, well, you would have to almost be at eye level uh -huh. yeah. to read these, right? <coughs> and, all of this stuff is that's angled not our idea. Out. We got an idea from a friend of ours in New York. And he put these the, these little uh, but these spacers. Were, were these originally up here, though? This one was. Because ours is down there. Yeah, they're putting them down. Yeah. Them. yeah. They're putting them down there. It's a pit. Well, there this one here. Was, was somewhere down there. Ours and so Fred here. relocated it and put it up here. So all yeah. we got to do is just hit the switch uh, to yeah. turn on the water heater. Because otherwise you have to mm -hmm. go outside or underneath there. Yep. You guys have our, our wine cellar. <laughs> <laughs> yep. like Don't that. leave your RV unlocked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know I'm showing now. everybody where the wine is. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Hey everyone, Phil has allowed us to tour in his trailer. He's got a 19, and here's a couple of the mods he's done that might be helpful for you. Uh, first up here, he's added a couple slats. This is really handy. He's just screwed it into the trim up here. I really like this one myself, because then you can stick a couple of, uh, you know, your cell phone, things like that up here. It's a really great organization tip. Uh, he's also added his own trim. Uh, on the flooring here, he's added carpet, so it gives us a little bit nice warm feeling to it. And in the bathroom there, we do have uh, some nice wood flooring that he thinks he found off the forum uh, at Amazon. Uh, what I also do like here too is the soap dispenser yeah. and as far as his knives he's got a magnetic uh, knife holder he does not take those down for traveling so that works out really well for him and also he has replaced the handles with a different look so that's really easy to do so one of the things that Phil has done is added the Umbra hooks. Uh, now on our escape, we had all the walls reinforced, but on many of them, they're not. So what he had to do here is take the strip of Umbra hooks and then add the, the backing on it. And then this will get attached on each side where the support is uh, in the actual wall here, in the framing of the wall. Uh, normally on these kind of poles, you'll have a piece that comes up. And so this does not lay flat. And he has modified this so that the pole post goes in. He has changed it to the post going all the way through, um, which means that when you're sitting here, you have a nice flat surface to stand on. Or if you take this out and you just want to be able to walk around in here, 
you're not tripping over a little hump on the floor. So I really like that mod. So he's using tuck that lights that come on uh, based on motion. So I already m touched that one, but basically it has to be dark enough. Let's see if I can make that, see how that came on. So if you want to use your outdoor shower for, I don't know, filling a bucket or whatever, these are really handy to just be working out here on a table. They just connect on here and then you've got something that just rotates and stays put, right? So nice and short. Yeah. Dishwashing station. Yeah, exactly. Dishwashing. So one of the other things that Phil's got is a temperature gauge. So um, what's really handy about this is it doesn't just give you ambient, but also wherever you put the uh, gauge and in his case he's putting it in the fridge which I think is a great idea uh, especially if you're boondocking or something like that and you want to make sure if it's hot out that your refrigerator is keeping everything cold enough so we may be doing something like this I would say it's also great if it's really cold out and you want to know how cold certain areas of your RV are getting uh, you can use this kind of sensor any place